Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to draw this piece in AutoCAD 3D. First of all, we'll take a look at this piece. So we need to have here two circles. So with a radius of 10 and with a radius of 25. Then we'll copy them and it will put also in the other direction on a distance of 25 units. We have here a height of 35 units. So let's get started. We will apply now the circle command and we'll press 0, 0, to start exactly from the origin. And right now just 10 units. Double click on the mouse wheel and you'll find this. Now again circle command 0, 0 from the same center as you see and we'll write 25 units. Let's copy now both circles in the other direction. So use the copy command and drag it and write 25 units. Now we need to apply a line. So line command from this quadrant until here. Copy this line again in the other direction. Good. Now let's apply the trim command. So select the entire drawing and write trim. And let's start now to delete. Good. Right after that, let's create another line. Or you can just copy the other one because it is the same line. Copy it and put it here. Now let's apply again the trim command, select the drawing and press trim. Good. Now let's select these two ellipses and write join to have just one single boundary as you see. So join just to have one single piece. Good. Right now let's go with the 3D plan. So press the home button. Let's copy this part because we will need it after all. So copy drag it up let's say with 50 units it doesn't matter right now let's apply the press pull command so select this surface and write 35 units good after that let's take a look again so we will put the origin here in this point and for this we will have here a box with 140 at this side because here we have 25 plus the radius 25 so that means 190 minus 50 so it's 140 and in the other direction we'll have 50 units moreover we will have here a height of 10 units but let's move the origin first of all our origin is here exactly in this point so we must move it in front with 25 then in the right side also with 25 and to go down with 22.5 units so let's move our origin first of all pick the origin move origin only in front with 25 be sure you have the ortho command active here it's very important now again move the origin with 25 and let's drag it down with 22.5 units from this point let's start our box so box 0, 0 to start exactly from the origin and we'll write 140 tab 50 units then we have a height of 10 units here good let's have a short look change here into shaded with edges yes it's perfect change it back now let's move the origin again so we need to have the origin here in this point for this we need to move the origin up with 10 units and in the other direction with 20 because here you see we have a thickness of 10 and a height of 8 move the origin now so up with 10 units and in the other direction in the left for this time with 20 units good everything seems to be perfect good let's go with the front plan and here we need xy axis for this one we'll go to tools new use yes and view to have xy yes now it's perfect let's construct now a line so line command from 0, 0,0 of 140 units then we will go up with 55.5 because you see we need to be here exactly in this part so exactly in this center so we'll construct 55.5 units line then we have here a circle with the diameter the exterior diameter of 50 all right 50 and just with the line to go back from the same point we need to construct another line so line command 0, 0 go up with 8 units and go in the other direction 
Let's apply here a fillet because we have a radius of 18 units. So fillet, air from radius and 18 units. Good, let's create the first circle now. Exactly here and write 25 units. Select the, almost the entire drawing, trim command and delete this part. Select now all these shapes including these lines too. And now let's press the join command to have one single boundary as you see. Good, now is the time for press pull. Select this edge and just with 10 units we'll write. Okay, let's have now a short look. Everything seems to be perfect, but here you see we need to cut these pieces. So for this one we will apply again the press pull, but for this area. Drag it down and now let's apply the subtract command. So we will select this object, the other object, because from this object we will cut, then enter and then this object. Press enter and here it is. Nothing inside, everything is perfect. Let's go back. So press top, rotate. And now we'll create another two circles. So one circle from here and write 25 units in radius because, because we have here a diameter of 50 and now another circle with a diameter of 25. And keep it in mind here we have 30. So again another circle from the same center. Press D from diameter and write 25. Good, let's delete this line now. Switch the drawing again and apply the press pull. So here write 10 and in the other direction write 20. Delete this part too. And let's apply the union command to have one single solid object. Enter, select the shape, move and delete all the extra parts. Double click on the mouse wheel and here it is. Our drawing now is complete. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.